Let's play the game. Alright, one of these days I'm gonna be able to like start playing and just like not immediately get into reading, you know? Just like, alright, I'm gonna fight some things, you know? Let my voice calm down a little bit. Uh, what's that? A message maybe. There's a note stuck to the bulletin. I've got some errands to run. Wrap up the case however you see fit. Oh, I guess he stepped out. Who wants to bet that he ran away because the case seemed like a pain in the butt? Cannot rule out that possibility. Well, at the very least, we've been given permission to solve the case however we like. So with that in mind, what's our next step? Should we review what we know? Yeah, definitely. At the meeting, inspect the map mark at the table. I don't, I don't see a uh, exclamation point on the table. Uh, just throwing that out there. Throwing that out there, you know. I, I gotta walk to the table first. They could have said that, but you know. I, Let's get this meeting started then. First off, we should review all our info that's uh, relevant to the case. Uh, the incident took place around midnight, five days ago. Members of both the Saber Vipers and Testaments were each ambushed by unknown assailants. However, the attacks occurred at two different locations in the city's downtown district. Here and here. Uh, the Testaments member was attacked in the alleyway to the west. And the Saber Viper got messed up in, the in front of Ignis, which is toward the east. In other words, the attacks happened at the opposite ends of the area. Exactly. By spacing them this far apart, it prevented each group from immediately learning about the attack on the other. So, consequently, each group came to the conclusion that they were attacked by the other, which is what we confirmed today. Yeah, the only answer that makes sense is that there's a third party involved. Unless both groups rehearse their accounts, chances, uh, chances of either group being responsible for attacking the other are pretty slim. Agreed. Based on the evidence so far, it's safe to assume the attacks uh, were the work of some third party. What we can do now is consider all the possibilities and rule out the ones that don't seem feasible. But we already have an idea who that third party might be. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Just say, and, and we think it's the Mafia, right? Yeah. They're the ones in control of Crossbell's criminal underbelly. The Notorious Mafia, Ravashenko. No, y'all already knew that because we just talked about it, but I'm going to announce it like this. According to the intel Grace shared with us, someone spotted mafiosos snooping around the downtown district a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to verify the credibility of that. But for now, let's continue the review of the assumption that Ravash was responsible for both attacks. Well, that just brings us to the next question. What was their motive? Exactly. Figuring out uh, the answer to that is crucial. If we can't figure out their motive, we're all the way back to square one. Motive, huh? Uh, there's hardly any conflict of interest between the Mafia and the two gangs. There must be some line that connects these three dots together. I imagine you already have some idea of what it is, don't you, Lloyd? Well, I can't say with absolute certainty. Look at that smirk on his face. What a suckle fool. Uh, but I think there's at least one thing that might connect these three factors. Presence of Hayway. The only realistic possibility that comes to mind is Hayway. Oh right, our grisly friend mentioned them, didn't he? That definitely feels like the most likely possibility now. In that case, though, what about Hayway connects these three? 
In order for them to be connected, there must be some necessity. For example, was it this connection with Heiwei that made the attacks against the two gangs unavoidable? Yeah, yeah, that would explain everything. Oh? What you think? Well, about that necessity Tio mentioned. What do you think Ravash would do if they found out Heiwei was trying to establish a foothold in Crossbell? Well, I imagine they'd want to build up their forces pronto. Recruit more people and upgrade their weaponry, you know? Ravash should have no problems getting new weapons, given their known smuggling operations. But how do they go about recruiting people? Good question. Normally you'd hire Jaegers. But that's unlikely in Crossbell's case, given the scrutiny the neighboring countries put on us. So long as the non-aggression pact stands, Ereboni and Calvard would never overlook unauthorized Jaegers entering the state. The two Diet factions representing them would likely react the same way, too. Oh, that's it. Lloyd, could the Mafia be recruiting the gang members? Hot-blooded and more or less disciplined, I can't think of a more perfect pool of candidates to beef up the Mafia's presence in the city. But there are certain individuals in each gang preventing that, aren't there? Right. I can never see Wazy cooperating with the Mafia, and I doubt Wald would bow to any kind of authority, even Ravash. He's not the type of person who would allow others to boss him around. So Ravash realizes this and plots to weaken the two gangs, intending to swoop in later and bag the remaining members. Heck, that must be it. Remember, this is still nothing more than a theory. All we've done is bring together the facts and try to make sense of them. There's very little facts to, to make sense of here. But, uh, you know, extrapolation, you know, it's fun. I, I, I like that we're doing extrapolation in a, a Trails game because uh, that doesn't happen very often for an extended period of time. So, you know, this is nice. I like this. Oh, look at you being all modest. I think that your analysis of the situation isn't too far off from the truth, Lloyd. Uh, your reasoning was sound and logical. Clearly, your detective certifications were well earned. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. So, everyone, our next move should be to explain our theory to those two, don't you think? Hmm. Hmm. That... I don't know about that. Those two? Yeah, you don't mean. I sure do. Wild Wales and Wazy Hemisphere. Leaders of the Saber Vipers and the Testament. See, why, 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 why? We know who they are. Why are you telling me that? Uh, you think, you think we don't know who they are? Station Street, near the construction materials, uh, near where the construction materials are stored. Asking me to come here alone in the middle of the darn night. Who do these police, brat, police brats think they're dealing with? <clears throat> Surprise you showed up if they asked you. Oh. Unless it's a mafioso ambush. Kick that sucker into the train. Is that? The last train bound for Calvard. Yes, I believe it was. Wazy. Good evening, Wald. What a beautiful night to bathe in the mystic moonlight, wouldn't you agree? Oh, this is rich. You pretended to be one of those CPD pipsqueaks to catch me off guard. You must think you're so darn clever. Fine. Bring it on, pretty boy. If you're looking for a fight, I'm more than happy to give you one. Let's end this. You know, I'm always up for a bit of late-night wrestling. But alas, I am but a mere guest at this rendezvous. What the heck does that mean? You'll see. They just arrived. It's you, punks. Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. Oh no, it's a pleasure to be here. So what's this fun anecdote you promised to share with us? 
Well, I don't know if fun is the right word exactly, but I'm sure you'll uh, both find it interesting at least. Aha, I finally found a typo. Yeah. Hold the phone. Anecdotes? Fun? What the heck are you two going on about? Oh, Wald, you're such a simpleton. What did you... Uh, surely you'll remember the incidents that occurred five nights ago. Uh, they're here to tell us who they believe the culprit was, obviously. A culprit? What do you mean? Impressive deduction, Wazy. I assume you already had your own suspicions. Well, at first, I wondered if one of my members had perhaps acted out of line. But as I started to sort things out, I realized that something was off about the whole situation. That goes for the Saber Viper side, too. Sadly, that's as far as my deductions could take me. I see. That will make things easier to explain, at least. Wald Wales. I know there are still gaps in our theory. Uh, still, would you listen to what we found so far? Fine. Keep it short. Waste a minute of my time and I'll bash that baby face of yours in. Bring it on! That just means I got 59 extra seconds. And that's what we've uh, come to with the information on hand. I'd like to hear each of your thoughts on it. My my, how unexpected. To think that we played right into the Mafia's hands. Does that mean you agree with Lloyd's theory? But of course. After all, Ravash sent some of their agents to visit us already. They asked us to work for them, promising us the moon and stars for our service. Needless to say, I immediately turned them down and sent them on their merry way. Huh, interesting. That settles th uh, things with one of them. So, Wald, I assume the Mafia paid you a social call as well. Yeah, about a month ago. They were acting all high and mighty, so I decided to show them what real strength looked like. Sent them packing real fast. I uh, can't believe they actually had the balls to pull a fast one on me like this. Wazy, I'm postponing our duel. First, I gotta warm up by crushing the smug mugs of those mobsters. Wait, you can't. Uh, such a short temper. Calm down, Wald. Acting recklessly will just lead to... The last time was merely a uh, jest, but you really are a simpleton. Say that again. You know perfectly well that you don't stand a chance against the Mafia on your own. Just imagine it, the leader of the Saber Vipers, Wald Wales, waltzing into the Mafia's sights like a pig to slaughter. He won't stand a chance. Shut it. We don't know what'll happen till, I, till we try. Maybe you could survive. But what about your poor little Vipers? Can they catch bullets with their teeth? What do you propose we do then, you bony suck -a uh, you really expect me to just sit here and swallow the shame of having our men hurt like that, huh? Of course I don't. I believe uh, that only a small part of the Mafia was actually involved in this little scheme. As such, there's no need to take the whole organization on, just a handful of them who have it coming. And I know just the way to get our revenge and ensure they don't show their faces in the downtown district ever again. I'll require your help though, Wald. You need my help. Hold on, you two. What are you planning? If you don't, uh, if you do anything to break the law, you'll relax. If anything illegal happens, you'll be right there to stop it. After all, you're helping too. We're doing what now? Isn't it your responsibility to resolve the conflict blur uh, brewing in the downtown district? I would claim that makes it your obligation to gently persuade the mafia into leaving all of us alone, or, or down there alone for good. Do correct me if I'm wrong, Lloyd. Well, what exactly is Wazy talking about? Do not quite understand either. Looks to me like he's about to sink his fangs into poor Lloyd. Remember it was you who bothered to call us out here to share your grand theory. Isn't it only natural to see this case through? Hey, Epic Otter. What's going down in the underground? What's the best thing that happened to you today? Three days passed since then. The confrontation between the rival gangs died down, fortunately. Uh, the downtown district was enveloped. I was going to say enveloped. 
Wait, are those spelled the same way? I, I'm just now coming to this realization. Uh, in an atmosphere so tranquil, it bordered on eerie. Then... Quite a shame Tech9 and NF won't be performing at TwitchCon. Instead, we get Megan the Stallion. I've, I've never heard a Megan the Stallion um, song, but I know she's very, very popular. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are excited for that. And I'm sure there's very few people that are disappointed that Tech9 or NF is not going to be there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I I would I would imagine that if Tech Nine or NF did a performance at TwitchCon, there would be more people confused who these people are than people excited that Tech Nine and NF maybe even double to triple the amount. It's 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 so funny how how obscure Tech9 and NF are in comparison to some other uh, larger artists out there. Uh, it's way too quiet around here. We went through all that effort and those uh, jerks still haven't torn each other apart. Don't you worry, those guys are doused in gasoline at this point. One small spark and everything will be up in flames. Those morons won't even know what hit them. All we gotta do is find another underling or two and beat the crap out of them. Blue or red, it don't matter. Soon you see, uh, soon as you see one, kick his booty. And for your, for your own sake, you better not get caught. Use a slingshot for a saber viper and just bash one of those testament guys from behind. Got it. Let the hunt begin, boys. And the best thing was waking up and actually making it to my stream today. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. I um I tuned in to one of your streams uh gosh i it must have been either earlier this week or last week but uh i saw nakuri was talking in the chat i was like oh my goodness nakuri is here you were playing um the uh, forced unleash too uh one tiny blue bunny down Uh, what a sucker foo fell right into our trap. We don't got time to waste. Rough him up, boys. Just be sure we don't uh, you don't kill him. This is just business. No hard feelings, okay? Think again. What? What the heck? Man, I'm honestly a little shocked. I really didn't think you'd fall into our trap so easily. Who the heck is this guy? Tell you the truth, I'd be fine with cuff, uh, cuffing you and taking you down to the precinct already. But I'm not sure the force will uh, find just this one sting operation sufficient evidence to hold, uh, hold you. So I'll have to let you go this time. Oh crap, don't tell me this guy's with. He's a cop? Not to worry, boys. He's just a special helper. Dude, are you serious? How the heck they'd fall for this? Lloyd's prediction was impeccable. Are you alright, Lloyd? Yeah, I'm fine. Putting that shock-absorbing pad under my hood was definitely a good call, though. Darn it. Uh, they were onto us? Since when? Well then, gentlemen, that raises the question. What will your next... What will be your next move? Surrender peacefully now, and I may be merciful towards your misdeeds. Or if you'd prefer, we can do the hunting this time. That may prove entertaining. Dang. Quick, split up. Hey, hold on. Two of you, come with me. Crazy. Hey, hold on a second. Crap. Uh, what do we do, Lloyd? Uh, crap. I think Tio has the healing. 
Come with me, Tio. Ellie, Randy, I'll leave the other group to you. Raja, understood. Where's Where's uh Wald? I thought Wald was gonna show up and be like, ah ah ah, cut off your escape. Darn it! I can't believe those little brats from the police are involved. I I need to contact headquarters and request backup. Hold on. If the boss finds out we're, uh, we screwed up, he'll... Dang. Fine. Then we should at least... Where do you suck foos think you're going? What? When'd they get here? These boys aren't going anywhere. Yes, we have them surrounded. Uh, it's in Lloyd's and Tio's hands now. Oh, of course, so we just split up for nothing. Those morons. Don't got much choice now. We'll have to go from the back. Wait, you guys split up so that you can exit in the exact same area? <laughs> what? A valiant effort, but no dice. Where did you come from? Jump for it. You've got nowhere else to run now. Like moths to a flame. Sorry to disappoint, but our little fun game or game of cops and robbers has come to an end. Surely you've realized your best option is to surrender, no? Look at you cocky little brats. You think you're so darn smart. Well, we're about to show you what happens when you force professionals to get serious. Better hope you live to regret it. Seems they want to fight after all. Well, I, for one, am happy to oblige. I can continue to count on your support, right, Lloyd? Funnily enough, I almost said the same thing. Let's do this. Incoming. Oh, wow. Wazy is act. Wait, he could be a guest. He could be a guest. Let's not get too crazy here. He is not a guest. What is going on? Uh, restrains the enemy with rapid strikes, speed minus 50. A roundhouse kick with plenty of weight behind it. Deadly heaven. Alright, so if you have an S craft, that means that you're a character character. That's just the only... The only logical thing here. Oh, you have tear, so I didn't need to actually bring home Chick Slice. I brought her because she had tear and could heal me if I was in a bad spot. Got a lot of MP. Or EP, I guess it's called. I gotta sneeze. Oh, I accidentally... Oh, you can change the camera angle. Hmm. Ooh, wow, that was a very good choice for me to heal. Heck yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Nick Curry showed up. Really nice guy. Uh, he told you that he likes uh, both our characters have green hats. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I don't I don't remember um, like what was being said in the channel you know, a couple days ago. You know I can't remember things from five seconds ago. Uh, but. Um, I remember seeing him there, and I was like, whoa, New Curry. What is New Curry doing here? How did New Curry discover Epicotta?
go over here real quick and make sure that you're dead. Did giga damage. Not getting very lucky here with uh, spells. hearing a weird noise, and I think it's from the music. Yeah, it's gone now. Some weird, like, like, water faucet noise. I know that's very specific. So it has come to this. Lucky critical. Use Opera GX. And Twitch has been incredibly bugged. I There was um, some tweets flying around yesterday that uh, they, they, they only support Firefox, Chrome, and like something else. I guess probably Edge. was a flurry of tweets going out last night about it. You darn kids. I knew they weren't going to be pushovers, but that was tough. That man was brandishing an Erebonian manufactured military grade pistol, my goodness. The latest model, I might, I might add. I'm sure that's just one of the many kinds of weapons their group smuggles. By the way, Lloyd, I must say you played your part as bait to perfection. The dramatic confrontation and fall, it looked so real, uh, it had me, on edge of, uh, had me on the edge of my seat. Well, your plan didn't give me much of a choice, did it? I wasn't about to let anybody else put themselves in harm's way. I do find, it, uh, do find that reason enough to volunteer for such a dangerous role, or do not. You really are consider it to a fault. Really? That soft-hearted nature of yours is sure to cause problems in the future. Although, I don't necessarily find that part of you to be a turnoff. Huh? Anyway, I was able to exact my revenge, and it was all thanks to your help. Your cooperation has been much appreciated. Gotta switch back to Firefox. I've been using... I've been I've been using Chrome and I've been having some issues with Chrome, so I swapped to Firefox to like watch Twitch on, and it's been working out, kind of, sort of. I don't know. I I don't actually know if there's any change, but it seems like there's change. Uh, you cocky little. Where did where do you get off acting like you won? Now you've done it. You sons of suckers. From this day on, you've made an enemy of Ravash. 
You darn rookies will rue the day. All of the Diet members are on our payroll. Uh, don't you think... Uh, don't think you'll be able to get away scot-free. Is that what you think? What? Looks like you haven't taken your lesson to heart yet. New plan. I'm gonna hang you suckafoos upside down like a bunch of punching bags, then beat the absolute piss out of you. Please. Wait, Wald, that's going too far. Not to worry, you can leave the rest to us. Wald, try not to get too carried away, okay? These guys are professionals, after all. They could bite back even stronger next time if you mess with them too much. Whatever. How about this, boys? Why don't we keep this friendly little spat to ourselves? I doubt pros like yourselves would want your bosses to find out you got your butts handed to you by a bunch of brats like us. Such a pathetic report wouldn't go over well, now would it? Get bent, sucker. <laughs> You'd be too arge under if uh, we weren't if we were taking you seriously. My my, I'm no lawyer, but if you ask me, it's probably in your best interest to bow out now. Grace? What are you doing here? I've been keeping my eyes peeled uh, for my favorite new rookies these past few days. And much to my expectations, what an absolute feast of information you've given me. Oh boy, I'm dying to write up a riveting tale in my next article about this unlikely operation. Why, you... You're just some sucker from the local rag. Uh, you think you can take Ravash on, huh? Well, circumstances are more complicated than I care for, so I won't reveal your names. However, if you bad boys are caught pulling another stunt like this, I can't make any promises. Fine, whatever. We'll be going now. But if you don't keep your word, lady... Yeah, yeah, standard issue threat, I got it. To be fair, though, uh, you're the ones that should be worrying about keeping your promises. Wouldn't want to be in hot water, would we? Cross crossed the line again, and a little birdie told me you might find the bracers on your tails. What? The bracers? Just a little FYI. <clears throat> Arios was strongly considering taking over this case. Naturally, being as in demand as he is, he was totally up to his neck in requests. He figured he'd leave, uh, leave it in uh, your guys' hands this time. Is that true? He's keeping tabs on us, eh? That appears to be the case. Oh, heck no. As if we'd ever be moronic enough to make an enemy of Arios McLean. No point in staying in this dump any longer. We're out of here. Plan on vlogging your time at TwitchCon? Hopefully, assuming everything goes according to plan. Um... Depending on how you vlog, just make sure that you pay attention to the signs and the rules because there's been issues in the past of people filming at TwitchCon areas and people not liking the filming and uh, it caused a big ol' ruckus, basically. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. Don't want you getting kicked out or anything. Uh, oh boy, Arios McLean, the Divine Blade of Wind. Uh, I've heard my fair share about his exploits, but I didn't think the name alone would be enough to send the Mafia packing. Ah, to heck with this crap. Screw it. Show's over, boys. Get your butts moving. We're leaving. Yeah. Must say, I couldn't have done it without your help. So I'm assuming this means a mission accomplished for you. Yeah, I suppose so. Though I guess our original mission was only to stop that one fight between your gangs a few days ago. Anyway, you shouldn't have a reason to go to war with Wald anymore, right? What are you going on about now? What? Whether the Mafia is involved or not, it's not like our relations with the Saber Vipers are going to change overnight. We're, we're still going to view each other as... A blight on our territory. That won't change. Sure, there probably won't be another large conflict between us for a while, but our regular scuffles are bound to continue, no doubt about it. Hold on now. 
Uh, if you don't want our future fights to get out of hand, you're more than welcome to stop by and intervene when the time comes. Perhaps you can even join in our amicable little disputes. I'd welcome you with loving arms. Uh, I don't get the impression that he's joking in the slightest. Well then, I wish you sweet dreams, everyone. Let us return, Abbas. Our crusade has ended. Let us re withdraw. Yes, sir. Crusade. Definitely heard there are rooms you can't film in. Yeah, it was... I, I remember all the the tweet storms about it. It was it was crazy. What an incorrigible group of men. Leave them be. They're a bunch of hot-headed uh, dudes raring for a fight. Nothing you can really do about it. For once, you might be right. More importantly, we've successfully resolved our mission. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Yeah, for sure. It just doesn't feel very satisfying for some reason. We're still not good enough. We had to rely on someone else to finish the job yet again. How was that? Did I nail it? Uh, well... What useless petty pride. There's nothing wrong with accepting a little help in times like these. How else are you going to uncover the full truth? Only once you've understood this can you truly call yourself a detective. Just like your brother. Huh? Well, I think it's time for me to head home. Uh, head on home now. I gotta go exfoliate. Uh, you'd be surprised how much I work to keep my skin this flawless. Anyway, nighty night. Exfoliate. Man, your brother was pretty famous, huh, Lloyd? Judging from what I've heard, it sounds like he was an extremely talented individual. Uh, when he was on the job, uh, there weren't a lot of people that could outrank him when it came to proactiveness and persistence. At any rate, our mission is accomplished. Let's return to the SSS building and give Chief Sergei our report. I wonder if... the brother is alive. I wonder. I think I get the picture. Well, this is about what I expected from you guys. If we get another case like this in, I'm sure uh, you'll be able to handle it better. Yes, sir. It's pretty hard to please. Anyway, I'm sure you caught a glimpse of it during this case. The thorny, problematic side of Crossbell. Well, yeah, it's definitely going to be a pain in the butt. Crossbell's seedy underbelly, the complicated hotbed of corruption, hidden just below the surface. It's true. Let me just remind you guys that the people over at CPD headquarters are anything but incompetent. Sure, some idiots decide to trade away their dignity for bribes, but most of our detectives are pretty darn capable. They've got morals and a sense of justice. However, they're often stopped by certain barriers. Politicians and public officials who've sold their honor to the Mafia, for example. But how about it, Lloyd? You ready to turn in your badge and become a bracer? No, sir. These barriers are the reason that the special support section was established, right? Oh? Protect civilians above all else. The Bracer's Code is admirable, but it has its own limitations. Some problems can't be solved by that alone. Smuggling and illegal arms dealing. The sale of stolen goods and mirror laundering. Collusion between the Mafia and the government officials. These are all problems that lie outside the Bracer's jurisdiction. He's got a point. So even the power of the supporting gauntlet has its limitations. However, as police officers, we have the power to right these wrongs. Countless barriers may stand in our way, but the possibility of getting over them isn't zero. Trails from zero. He's right. We, as the SSS, can create opportunities others can't for true change in Crossbell. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Yeah, but hopefully I'm not being too optimistic. I do think that reality is not as simple as you make it out to be. However, I agree that the possibility is never zero. Trails from zero. Uh, take a look at this guy, would you? Dueling with the head of a delinquent group. 
volunteering as bait to lure out the mafia. Here I had you pegged as the serious type, but it turns out you're as hot-blooded as they come. Not really sure if hot-blooded is the right term, Randy. Still, working with all of you on that last case helped me realize this. While it's true that uh, we're still inexperienced, as long as we stick together, no matter how high they may be, there isn't a single barrier we can't overcome. Lloyd. Well, how about that? Perhaps the cheesiest speech yet? Laughter. I don't have to laugh that hard, Chief. You think I have my head in the clouds, don't you? I think you're fine the way you are. Uh, while it's true that the SSS was created under some complicated circumstances, it's your guys' job to decide where we go from here. Use this division however you see fit. Chief. I might not be able to give you much direct assistance with your missions, but if you end up pulling some crazy stunt and tick off HQ, I can at least toss you a bone and cover for you guys. We appreciate it, Chief. I see you prefer to... Uh, laissez-faire? A laissez-faire approach? A uh, laissez-faire-y? <laughs> laissez-faire? Something like that. Les compitants. Uh, sheesh. Oh, I said sheesh. I said I was going to stop saying the sheesh. Suck a fool. Uh, being understanding is one thing, but this is getting closer to carelessness, Chief. Perhaps laziness is more apt. Just one of the perks of being a no-good adult. Is the SSS... Uh, will the SSS remain a pale imitation of the Bracer Guild? Or will it become something new? something that creates new possibilities for this city. I, for one, am going to kick back with a cigarette and watch the fireworks. Why does everybody want to copy the bracers? Just let the bracers do what they gotta do. I got bonus DP. It must be because I uh, answered those questions correctly. Nice. Only got one awarded DP one. That's disrespectful. Oh, I got nine bonus for that. I've been promoting. Bravery badge. Welcome to the force, unflinching justice. Oh, I guess they appeared up there. I don't have to read the... Much more. It's actually kind of cool that they have the Steam achievements, and then the game also has the achievements. And they kind of like appear at the same time. Um... Usually it takes a little bit of time before the other one starts. We're going to continue. Seems like you had another rough month, Arios. It's fine. Nothing new as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I'm here regarding my payment. No problem. Via IBC as usual, I assume. Uh, look, seeing as I'm the one giving you all these requests, I'm... Sure, I'm the last person to talk, but maybe you should consider reducing your workload, just a teensy bit. I can only imagine how lonely poor uh, Shizuku must be. Whoops. Sorry, I said I wouldn't bring this up anymore, didn't I? Oh, that reminds me. Headquarters contacted me again. They keep bugging me to get you to accept the offer. Are they seriously still at it? I've rejected their offer numerous times already. How many more will it take? Well, can you blame them? I'm sure they're just desperate to find someone to fill the gaping hole Cassius Bright left when he quit. Didn't you two train under the same master? You're basically equals when, it, uh, when you look at your stats with the guild, so hurry up and accept already. Well, that may be true on paper. Uh, we're completely... While that may be true on paper, we're completely different people. Unlike Cassius, I haven't solved any conflicts on an international scale. To be honest, even being considered his equal is far more than I deserve. Oh, don't give me any of that. We both know it isn't true. What about that case in Remiferia? The Grand Prince himself presented you with a Medal of Honor. If you ask me, that's more than enough of a qualification. I have to disagree. I never truly resolved the issue. 
I may have prevented the immediate disaster, but the masterminds responsible are still out there. I'd actually intended to refuse the medal. Gosh, Arios. Uh, you're a, re a regular stick in the mud. You don't, you know that? Come on, accepting that promotion will drop your workload a, bit, a little bit. You've done over a hundred requests this month alone, for Adios' sake. It can't be healthy. Well, I certainly don't feel like uh, I bit off more than I could chew. Traveling for work isn't nearly as strenuous now that there are more trains and flights coming in and out of the city. And besides, those two bracers transferring here should help reduce my workload a bit. Oh, you mean those kitties? Suppose you're right. They might be rookies, but I see a lot of potential in them. And at the very least, uh, they'll be much more dependable than those kids in the special support section. Hello, anyone home? Oh, would you speak of the devil? Come on in, we're upstairs. Oh, the second floor? Gotcha. Thanks for having us. Man in a... Oh. You suck of... You suck of... What are they doing here? Holy smokes, Arios is here too. Glad we managed to catch you while you're in. That does not look like what I would figure uh, his portrait to look like. Yes, it's quite a lucky coincidence. It's been three months or so, hasn't it? I'm glad to see you're both doing well. Never imagined uh, we'd be seeing you two transferring to our little branch. This is just fantastic. Now that you're both here, uh, we'll have Crossbell cleaned up in no time flat. Uh, we may be good, but we're not that good. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Oh, but where are where are our manners? Uh, we should officially introduce ourselves. Estelle Bright, Senior Bracer. Joshua Bright, also a Senior Bracer. Officially reporting for duty at the Bracer Guild's Crossbell Branch. Suck-a-foo. Suck-a-foo. Oh, wow, they're just starting it right here. All right, let's mark for chapter one. Usually they have, you know, like a, a long thingamabobber going on. And it's like, ah, chapter one appears like three hours after the chapter, previous chapter closed. But, you know, I guess they just wanted to get that little scene off. Uh, you think when I'm Just Key did his uh, TwitchCon Amsterdam vlog, he did mention there were some rooms he could not film in. Imagine the same will apply in San Diego. Aha. That would make sense. 